Hey, peace and love, family. Peace and love, family. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's well. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. However, I would love for you guys, if you see those three videos on your screen, the one on the top left, that is called Sopona, the god of smallpox. The one on your top right is Gletti or Gletti, moon goddess. And the one at your bottom is is the seraphim guardians of yahweh's throne i would please love for you guys to support my movement and my content and would love for you guys to at least go in the description below where i would leave the link to all three of these videos and please could you guys click and support the content that i got going on in the movement and my whole aim is to bring these bring these deities to you guys on the individual aspect and then one day, hopefully, we can connect the missing dots, you know, link some of these gods together and hopefully show a bigger picture of what's really going on. But if you could, please, if you are watching this video, if you could please go in the description below and click these videos and push them to at least over the 100 views mark, I would really appreciate that. And thank you so much for your time. And now sit back, relax. And let's get into the show. Peace and love family, peace and love family, welcome back to another edition of Mythical Beings and Deities. On this show, I will venture throughout time and history to discuss a wide range of deities which have been worshipped, praised and had stories told on their behalf from all over the world. Hope you guys enjoyed this segment and leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or deities you'd like us to cover. Now family, on today's episode, we will be talking about Dambala. Dambala, also pronounced Dam, Allah, Dambala or Dambala, among other variations in Haitian Creole. Dambala is one of the most important of the Iowa spirits in Haitian voodoo and Louisiana voodoo traditions. He is portrayed as a great white serpent originating in the city of Widu Wuda or Kuda. Some people might even say that is Judah in modern day Benin. Dambala is said to be the sky father and the primordial creator of all life. Imagine that. All the first things created by Grand Met, which I will be doing a video on soon. In those voodoo societies that view Dambala as primordial creator, he created the cosmos by using his 7,000 coils to form the stars and the planets in the heavens and to shape the hills and valleys on earth. In others, being the first thing created by God, which God, creation was undertaken through him by shedding the serpent's skin. Dambala created all the waters on the earth 
As a serpent, he moves between land and water, generating life, and through the earth, uniting the land with the waters below. Dambala is usually syncretized with either Saint Patrick or Moses. He is counted among the Radha Iowa. Dambala is seen as benevolent and patient, wise and kind, yet detached and removed from the trials and tribulations of daily human life. His very presence brings peace and he represents a continuum which is at once the ancient past and assurance of the future. As a serpent, and due to his extreme age, he does not speak, but may whistle or make a soft hissing sound. When a servitor is believed to be possessed by Dambala during a ceremony, he or she moves on the floor like a serpent. A white sheet is laid down for him and another waved over him to fan and cool him down. His purity is such that it cannot be allowed to be exposed to impure or unclean things. Some peristyles maintain a basin full of water into which the possessed will plunge to swim and cool off. Offerings to him include milk, white foods and flowers, rice, coconut, orgeet syrup, and perfume called Lotion Pompeia. However, his offerings par excellence is a white uncooked egg on a mound of white flour. Dambala, like many other Iowa, is subdivided into different spirits who play different roles. For example, as Dambala Token, he is a spirit of the intellect. When he manifests in the petrol rats, it is Dambala La Flambeau. Chase. Dambala's wife is Aida Wedo. Although in some voodoo societies she is his sister, and in others Dambala himself after a different fashion. Erzuli Frida is his lover. I might have pronounced that wrong. Let me pronounce that one more time. Erzuli, spelled E R Z U L I E. Erzuli, Erzuli, Frida is his lover. Although, once again, she may be considered his wife in some societies. Now, let's delve into Dambala's origins. Once upon a time, there was only Dambala. He lay beneath earth, a great snake cushioning and protecting it from falling into the watery abyss below. Although he lay still for a long time, eventually he had to move. His movements raised mountains and created valleys. Stars were shaken up into the sky. Sacred waters were released, forming oceans, rivers, springs and streams. The first rain began to fall. An idol, Hwidu, let me spell that for you guys, A-I-D-O hyphen H-W-E-D-O, idol, Hwido, I might have got that wrong, in the guise of the first rainbow appeared, let me read that again, the first rain began to fall, an idol, Hwido, in the guise of the first rainbow appeared, Dambala, an idol, Hwido, fell in love. They remain in love today. The intensive or pervasive power of that love infiltrated the entire universe. The power is manifest in human beings in the form of white liquids, milk and semen. Interesting. Dambala, the primordial snake Iwa of life, wealth and wisdom is venerated in the Homi as well as the ancient voodoo. He may also survive in the New Orleans folk, Saint Black, da, Saint Blanc Donny, Danny, Saint Black Blanc Danny. 
I think I might have got that wrong. Dambala is among the most beloved and important Iwa. He bestows wealth, prosperity, good health, and fertility to devotees and can expose the location of missing treasure. He regulates moisture and rain. Dambala and his true love, the rainbow serpent, maintain the balance of force which sustains all life on earth, the equivalent of what East Asian cosmology would describe as yin yang forces. He is incredibly old and powerful and is usually not bothered for trivial matters. He can be extremely generous, however, so may be approached when one is genuinely desperate or really in trouble. Despite his venerable age, he remains interested in people. He will engage in sacred marriages with women, but also occasionally with men. Right, let me repeat that again. He will engage in sacred marriages with women, but also occasionally with men. Dambala, Dambala sorry, appears in dreams. He does not communicate well. You must pay attention. He is so old and primal that he is pre-articulate. <laughs> he emerges from a time before speech. Dambala may hiss or make whistling noises, but does not speak human language. Dambala is also connected to Moses, like I said, the lawgiver. Dambala is Moses' staff. Can you hear that? Dambala is also Moses' staff that transformed into a snake. He also enjoys the company of Ezili Frida the homie. He is a stickler for cleanliness. He doesn't like strong, pervasive odors of any kind, but especially tobacco. If you smoke, then do so far from his altar or anywhere associated with him. He may object to cleaning products with strong odors too, also well as air freshener and strong aromas. Rooms should smell clean and fresh. Open the window to aerate them. He does not object to light floral odors like rose or orange blossom water and traditionally expresses a fondness for Pompeii lotion, a cologne product found in Botanicus and, and spiritual supply stores. In pop culture, in the Child's Play franchise, which you saw me play earlier with Chucky, Dambala's name is used in a voodoo incarnation by the main antagonist Chucky to transfer his soul into his good guy doll host. For additional information or references about the deity Dambala, please read sources such as Encyclopedia of Spirits, The Ultimate Guide to the Magic of Fairies, Genies, Demons, Ghosts, Gods and Goddesses, written by Judica Owls. If you enjoy this content, please leave a like or comment below and thank you for watching. Until next time, family.